How you doing guys? Today we're gonna go over, unbox, and I'm gonna show you how to use my Pittsburgh Deluxe Lens Renewal System I bought from Harbor Freight Tools. Every year or two I end up having to do this uh, on my car. Um, a lot of older cars what happens is there's a lot of oxidation that forms on the cover of the lenses and uh, basically what this does is it sands it, it buffs it, and it polishes it to remove the oxidation and it gives you a couple years of uh, perfect clarity. In the past in my car, I thought I needed to buy new lenses because they were irreparable. However, after using this system, I'm a true believer. I got it for, I think, $15.99 at my local Harbor Freight tool store. You guys will probably use a 20% coupon and get it for even cheaper. Um, but either way, let's open the pack and I'll show you what's in here. To do this project, we're just going to need our normal uh, deluxe lens renewal system kit and a drill. You open it up. It's got your pad you're going to use to attach to your drill to do your sanding as well as your, as your buffing. It's got tape. You use this to tape off the paint um, around the headlight so you don't actually hit your paint with the sandpaper. That makes sense. You got some buffing pads right here. These are used for the final sanding. This is your actual buffer pad. Um, this is going to be used for your uh, the final buffing when you're done. And you got some assorted sanding pads right here. If you look on the back, it'll tell you what grit. So this is 800 grit. This is 500 grit. The lower the number, the larger the grit. And also, you have your abrasive polishing compound and your instructions. Always take a look at them, but after watching this video, you probably won't need them, but you always want to take a look at them. To start, we're going to grab our tape, and we're going to start taping everything off here. Next, you're going to get your sanding attachment with the Velcro facing outward. You're going to attach it to your drill. From there, you're going to get your sandpaper. Now, they give you a lot more 500 than they do 800 grit. So, since you have six pieces and two headlights, get three uh, 500 grits, put it aside, and then get your other three and use them for this side. So you have one for each side. Next, we can get our 500 grit. Attach it. We're not going to put any compound on here yet, and we're just going to start sanding. Nice and evenly on the whole uh, lens. And it's going to start to look really glossed like this. Um, that's normal because you're taking a layer of the plastic off. And we're going to want to go over this multiple times for a couple minutes. If your pad clogs, switch to another pad. Um, because this is the coarsest sandpaper, paper, it's going to take the most off. So put a lot of time and care into doing this now. And then later on, when we go to the next couple steps when we're using binder sandpapers, you won't have to take a lot off to get the desired effect. Since we're all done sanding with our 500 grit, we're now going to switch to our 800 grit. You only have two for each lens uh, with the kit. So. 800 grit on. Let's start sanding. You want to keep on sanding again, nice, light, and smooth, until you start getting a lot of those 500 grit scratches out. And as you can see, come along very nicely. With our 800 grit complete, we're going to take that off and we're going to switch to a three thousand grit. You only have two, one for each lens. And you'll know this one because there's a thin foam padding on there. So you're going to apply it like so. Have a sponge moisten with some water. We're going to put it on the lens like that. And then we're just going to go over it in the same manner that we did before. And 
and you'll actually see some of the imperfections come off. This is a real good way of fine tuning everything and making sure you get all your scratches out. Now that we're done with our 3000 grit, we're going to take this off and we're going to put on our buffing pad. Same process as before, it velcros on. Now, you never want to use the buffing pad on your actual lens without a polishing compound because this abrasive, what it's going to do is it reduces friction on there. And if you just put this on there by itself, you could potentially start to melt your lens. Not a good thing. What we're going to do is put a 2P size uh, dollop of polishing compound on here. We're going to get it and we're going to rub it on our light like so before turning, before pulling the trigger so you don't have to worry about getting a splatter of material everywhere. And we're just going to start slowly going over. And what this is going to do is it'll actually start to polish all those little scratches we made from the sandpaper and it removes them on a microscopic level. Everything uh, all polished, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna get our tape, we're gonna take it off, like so. Have our sponge with some water on it. Wipe up some of that uh, that brine from the polishing compound and get a nice microfiber cloth. Go over and dry off your lens. Like so. Alright. That's it guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it uh, in the comment section. Um, hope to see you guys again. Like always, uh, have a great day.